Hello, welcome to this OCR Further Maths Statistics video, the sixth and final one in the series looking at chi-squared tests. In the previous video, we looked at testing data against a ratio. Now we're going to test data to see how well it fits a standard probability model. This data is thought to come from a population with the uniform distribution. As usual, we're going to start by stating our null and alternative hypotheses. This time, we're going to test at the 10% level. Then we work out the number of degrees of freedom. As before, we have just one constraint, the total, so that nu is equal to 3, take away 1, which is 2. We follow the same method as before, working out the expected values if the null hypothesis is true. In this case, as we're testing against a uniform distribution, we'd expect all the frequencies to be the same. With a total of 75, that means 25 in each category. Then we work out the contributions to the test statistic in the usual way. So for the first cell, that's 29 minus 25, all squared, divided by the expected value, which is 25. So that's 16 over 25, which is 0 0.64. And so on. We add them all up to get x squared is equal to 4.88. Now we look up the critical value. Nu is 2, and we're working at the 10% level, so that P is 0 0.9 and we read off the critical value, 4.605. This time, our value of x squared is bigger than the critical value, so it's unlikely, and we reject the null hypothesis. Our conclusion in context is that there is sufficient evidence at the 10% level of significance to suggest that the data does not fit the uniform distribution. That's the end of this video and the end of this section on chi-squared tests.